back in September, I suddenly out of the blue started having panic attacks. I, um, one night I woke up, I was having a dream where I was choking and couldn't breathe. So I woke up and um, still couldn't breathe for a few seconds. So that really freaked me out. I didn't know what was happening, if I was having a heart attack or a stroke or, or what. So I got up and um, tried to do some meditation, but concentrating on trying to calm my breathing just seemed to make things worse. So I just went on the computer to take my mind off it for a few hours and then I could go back to sleep. And um, then about a week later, I woke up again with a feeling of not being able to breathe properly. And the memory of the previous week just sent me off into a, a, another panic attack. But um, first I went out for a walk and that helped and walking uphill helped. So I thought, well, I'm not having a heart attack. And um, later on, my husband, who's a nurse, um, brought home a machine to test my blood pressure and pulse and oxygen saturation. And they were all normal. But, um, and then I went to the doctor a week later because I was still feeling very anxious about this breathing issue, which um, kept coming and going. And the panic attacks um, I only had about three panic attacks, but they were very, very scary when I had them. Um, the doctor took lots of tests and diagnosed anxiety, probably due to menopause. All the tests came back fine. Um, so what it didn't answer for me was why, if, if everything was fine, if my um, cardiovascular was good, if my um, iron was good, my oxygen saturation was 100%, why it still felt like I wasn't getting enough oxygen to my brain. And my husband's a nurse, and I was looking through one of his nursing magazines, and there was an article by Mary Birch, uh, a registered nurse and a Botaco practitioner, on panic attacks, panic syndrome, and Botaco breathing retraining. And she answered that with the, uh, the whole physiological um, explanation of what's going on in the body with the CO2 and the oxygen. And that gave me my answer. So I was, I need to do this potato. I couldn't find any local practitioners. So I found um, Learn Botaco online on the internet. And there was um, a course coming up in November. So I signed up for that and had to wait patiently. In the meantime, I'd been dealing with my anxiety by just um, dropped everything that was stressing me. Um, so I mostly spent every day sitting at home drawing. That was the way I could get through it. I went to see a naturopath and got some herbal remedies, which again helped to keep my head above water, but the anxiety was still there. I was also having menopausal symptoms, hot flushes and other symptoms um, and then I started doing the course as soon as I switched to nasal breathing I didn't have any more panic attacks um, even when I had calmed myself down I could sometimes feel the physical symptoms of anxiety and panic even when I wasn't feeling anxious myself which puzzled me which through the course, I realized why that was because of the low CO2 levels. Um, and then when, once I'd started the course, once I could feel the physical symptoms coming on, I knew how to deal with them by reducing my breathing. So it gave me a lot of confidence that I had the tools to, to tackle the, the breathing issue when it came up. So it became less scary for me because I basically stayed at home for three months. I became a recluse because I didn't want to be out somewhere and have a panic attack or suddenly not be able to breathe properly. So I'd just been at home trying to relax. Um, and relaxing was hard. Uh, when I started the course, it was like, it's all about relaxation. And I'm like, yeah, I've got panic and anxiety. I'm not relaxing too well at the moment. But um, I worked on it. 
and it did help. And so I got really good results from the first course. It was hard work and I went away and practiced. My control pause came up quickly and my anxiety um, gradually decreased. I suppose I was still anxious because I was afraid it would come back. But when I started, after starting the Boteco, it really didn't. But the anxiety was still there in the back of my mind that I might get more of these attacks. But I never did get any more attacks since I started the training. And I was suppose I was anxious that my control pause would go down and it would all come back again. But my control pause has been doing really well. well. When I started, my control pause was 12. When I finished the course, my control pause was 24, so I doubled it. Um, I mean, I haven't had any more. I, I, I doubled my control pause very quickly on the course. So I would say, um, over 20, certainly no more panic attacks. I was aiming for 25 initially because I think that was what Joe said. When you get to 25, things improve a lot. But, you know, really no more symptoms of panic since I started, since maybe about day two or three of the course. Um, pretty much all the symptoms have gone. My menopausal symptoms have completely reversed. Um, I still have no period, but I don't have any symptoms associated with menopause, none. Um, my body feels very good. Um, I have no, it just feels good, no aches or pains or discomfort anywhere. Um, no panic, no anxiety, much calmer. Um, I can sit and meditate for half an hour at a time, which I could never do before. I can even sit comfortably in a cross-legged position, which I could never do because my hips aren't very flexible. Um, uh, I, I did have, after I was diagnosed with anxiety and my doctor recommended me to exercise, walk for an hour every day, and I was doing that, and then I got very fatigued. I, my energy crashed. I felt like I had chronic fatigue. I had to go to bed for a whole day. Um, so my energy levels have come up. I certainly don't feel like I have chronic fatigue. I have enough energy to do all the things that I want to do. And I'm sleeping less. Um, before my sleep, it would take me a long time to get to sleep and I would wake up a lot in the night. Um, now I get to sleep very quickly. I sleep for a shorter time. But I, wake, I don't wake up very often. And I wake up feeling refreshed, whereas I would wake up still feeling tired and like I hadn't had a good night's sleep. Now I feel like I have had a good night's sleep. 25, 26, I could feel my energy coming up. I can, I can walk for a long time. Yes, I can spend a whole day walking around town. Yeah, I, I wasn't doing any housework or anything. Now I don't find housework tiring. I was looking for um, a personal practitioner. I could do one-on-one, -on -one, but... As I say, there weren't any, so I found the online training. And it was actually really good for me because, as I said, at the time, I just wasn't leaving the house or going anywhere. And the idea of going anywhere made me very anxious. So to be able to just do the training at home was a real boon for me. The webinar was, um, well, it's all very easy to log on to. The webinar was very easy to log on to. And... Um, there was lots of information. It was easy to ask questions. There weren't too many people there. Um, and the course, again, was very easy. The only problem I've had is that sometimes my internet connection is a bit wobbly, but the course was great. It was very easy to do. Um, it was very convenient time, the first one was. Um, and yeah, all the whole process of logging on the Zoom room is all very simple and user friendly. And yeah, I was a, a bit concerned that it would be sort of 
too in your face to sort of, you know, I'm looking at somebody in a computer and they're looking at me, but it wasn't like that at all. Um, because you're, you're listening to the practitioner and then you're doing the exercises. You're not really thinking about yourself. Um, no, it was, it was really good. Uh, so I did the beginner's course in the, the end of November and, um, my practice went really well after that, but I, I got to, I got to the high thirties and then I felt like I needed something else to push me to 40. So, and I was keen to do the intermediate course as well because it was about building up your fitness levels and energy. So I, I signed up for that and that was a less convenient time. That was six o'clock in the morning, but um, I was waking up at 5.30 most mornings anyway, so that wasn't really a problem. And then that was very good. Again, it was quite intense and quite, I found um, a lot of the exercises quite strenuous and hard work. So, but it was good that the course was spread out over two weeks, that it wasn't five days in a row. So it had a break in between. Um, so I worked hard at that and did, um, initially my control pause went down, but then about a week or so afterwards it did go up um, and it is did go up to 40 and then over 40 and it's sort of around, still around 39 and 40. Um, I was working very hard in the beginning with the exercises, but I felt that I was maybe overdoing it and tiring myself out of it. So I'm taking a more relaxed approach now. 